does this keep happening? What if I need it? You should know this. I do not want leather. Die. Too much whispering is going to start becoming an ASMR channel. Hello, Shotgun Squirrel, and we're back with Below, episode 8, I think now. Um, twice as long as our last series. Um, so, last time was a great episode. We got a lot of progress done. Um, we found the hammer. We opened a... not opened, we closed the um, drawbridge so we could go across it. I guess, is that open? So that's a bit weird, isn't it? Like, we put the drawbridge down, so that's sort of like a closing motion. Like, it locked into place, which is like a door closing. But it let us pass, so therefore, was it open? Ooh. Anyway, we did that. We found like a little hub area with lots of different routes to go, which then got us back to the beginning, which is all... Very, 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 very good, and I am very, very happy. Now, I think the first thing I want to do is I've, I think I've got the hammer equipped. So what I'm thinking is we go to that button that I found that I haven't been able to do, because if the hammer was in one of those random rooms, something really exciting could be in another. So the question is, where is that one? See, I think it's, so you see a big circle in the center, I think it's the one to the left of that, I think, uh, was the one with the button. So I very much like to press that one, I think. So we're going to head this way. Um, do I want to edit away the, the, the travel there? I think I will. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, no, squirrel, don't do it because, you know, you'll end up dying because that's what always happens when you, you know, edit out sequence. But I think, I think I'm going to risk it. Because otherwise I could spend the first 10 minutes of this just backtracking. And I don't really have anything interesting to say. So to save you the boredom, I'm going to um, I'm going to edit out this bit. So I should see you when I'm outside the button room. See you in a bit. And we're back. Okay, so this is what I mean. So you see this? They're nice. Looking like a button. This square, this door has got like the symbol for the button. So... I'll leave the light on just for this, I think. Hopefully, this is right. So, here we go. Yeah! Oh, pretty happy about that. All right, let's have a look what's down here. This could be absolutely nothing, but... No, I think it's going to be another unlock. That was definitely worth doing. What does the horn skull do? I, I don't... What? Ah, oh. <laughs> What is with this game and not telling you what things do? That's so annoying. Sorry, pressing my buttons again as always. Um... Ah! Oh. Alright, well we've got a new skull. That's, that's... That's pretty good. Um, I don't think, from having a look, there's anything else. Um... So, um, to the left there, obviously I haven't finished it. That one takes us back to that, like, uh, water cave with the, um, with the lights. They're not the lights, what I'm talking about. The water cave with the ice cave. Um, there's nothing else. These are all, like, hub transitions. We've done all those. So that's kind of where we've got to go next, really. So, we came here. We've opened this cave, sorted, done, check that off the list. Um, now I'm going to um, edit again, and we'll uh, be back in the uh, at the beach where I started off. So uh, see you in a second. All right, guys, I've really got to stop um, editing <laughs> um, out the shots because when I'm running back and forth, I just make silly mistakes. Um, yeah, so um, I went to swing at the spike trap. And I ended up um, jumping onto it, which was not what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, it looks like we've got um, Yorick. Yorick again. So we got Yorick 2.0, finally. Okay, so I'm not actually... Damn it, I didn't mean to start that up. That's really annoying. I want to try and pick up the ember. I'm not really that unhappy, to be honest. It's very, very close. My body is very, very close. Um, I shouldn't have lost anything. Um, the un our 
our progress from last episode is still there with that cave being open. So I'm actually quite fine with that death. Um, it actually means we're going to get a nice number of shards in case we come across a shop later on um, in any of that hub world that we've got to go to. So sure, it's a bit sad to say goodbye to Grandpa Joe after all of his progress he did last episode, but I think I'm fine. It's only going to take me a little bit just to pick up that stuff and then come back here. So um, I'll have a quick edit and then um, we'll be back on the beach. Oh, right, we're back. Okay, sorry, it took me forever to get here because I was uh, being very, 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 very careful. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, no, there are different, okay, there are different pages. I thought I would lost loads of stuff because we only had one page worth of stuff, but no, we're okay. Yeah, I was, um, I was being very careful on my way here because obviously I, I really could not make a mistake because um, then we'd have lost all of our progress. Um, is my crystal gone? Oh, it does look like we lose some stuff. That's a shame, because I brought the crystal with me, because I knew I needed it for bundles. Um, so, I don't know how they decide what we lose, but we've still got a hammer. We've still got both of those. So, all of our progress is fine. We've now got three pots, which is uh, really good. So, all in all, we actually made quite a bit of progress. We've got 61 shards, so we've gone up in shards. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy as things go. Um, I'm, I'm fine. Also, f what? Wait, what does that one? It's just narrow. Okay, right, so I found out bundles with stuff make four instead of um, a stick, which just makes one, which is uh, something interesting I learned. Um, what do I need for? Oh, I don't know. Let's just get some more exploding arrows. Oh, it's over room here. Eh? I'm not going to make use cow jobs. Right, let me um, let me. Oh, I need to equip my helmet. Sorry, I'm just getting back up to speed. Yeah, <laughs> it took me a little bit of time to get here because I was just being so careful. Like I got into this fight here, and I just was too scared to mess around. Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, it's like a. Oh, okay. Ha! Ah, that's one way to take him out. Oh, whoops. Okay, so the one the one thing we have lost um, with that death is obviously all the progress. So, um, as you'll see on the map, we don't have any progress made in any of the places. But that doesn't really matter. As I said, for, for coming back, it was actually quite good because it meant I could get a bunch of new shards, all the animals had reset, all the dogs, etc., all the chests had reset. So I had... Uh, I could get a bunch of food back again. So we're in a really good place. I'm not going to do the same mistake we made last time. Let's not run and press A. Oh, what a silly mistake to make. Um, also, along my way, I actually found out how to um, cut trip wires. It's run and jump, and you do a slam. Kind of obvious, really. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to come out of this. Oh, no, I did. I did. This is where I want to go. Um, I'm not going to use that. Um... I'm going to save it because it's... Actually, no, I'm going to use it. Cook some food on it. That way I can save a campfire closer to where we need. Because we're not going to come back here. We got um, the helmet. I still don't know what the helmet does. But we got it. Um, soup. That's it. We've got lots of stews. We're doing really well food-wise. Like, really well. I should probably sleep and store some stuff. Actually, yeah, well, let's do that. While we've got this one available. Yeah, so sorry about the opening of this video. I'm, I'm not actually sure how long this video has been. I mean, I've actually been recording for 25 minutes, but I think we probably only have maybe 10 minutes worth of footage that I've actually used. So sorry it's been so broken up. Um, that wasn't my intention. Um, obviously, dying was, uh, wasn't was part of the plan. Um, okay, so I can't store a torch that's been semi-used. That makes sense. I've got so many sticks. I, I don't know why I've got so many sticks. Um, I'm here purely to store... The helmet, come on, stay on track. I have no idea what it does. I'm putting it over there. We don't need it for now. Uh, do I need the hammer? Well, we never know now. It's a six, five, six, four. What are the numbers? <laughs> what do the numbers mean, Mason? That's um, 
uh, it's a Black Ops 1 reference uh, for those of you that, uh, that don't remember that. Yeah, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what the helmet does. It's one of the things that maybe I'll Google for next episode. Uh, try and work out. Maybe it's warmth. I don't know. Um, so let me. What am I doing? Um, oh, that camera did a bit weird zoom. Um, yeah, so I've got the bow equipped. I've got the crystal skull equipped. Um, fun fact: that's my fiance's uh, favorite of the uh, Indiana Jones. Movies, Crystal Skull. Please don't lynch her. Um, right, we're gonna go. Um, so we've got to go up to the right. Yeah, I was very careful on my way back here, because at some point I was just running along and I saw a spike trap and I was like, "Oh yeah, if I run into that, I lose everything." So I'm a bit, I'm a bit wondering, I'm wondering why the crystal's gone. I'm a bit interested as to why that went because I know I definitely had it on me because I was planning to make a crystal you can make like a like a, not a baton what am I thinking of um no no can't, got nothing you can make um some stick with a crystal on the end it's not it's like a wand but it's not called a wand it was called something yeah look see look oh no this trip wire what do we do we do that which is quite cool. Um, quite a piece of... Oh, hello. It's a blue ball. Nope. Damn it. You sod. I mean, you're not really a sod. I was trying to murder you. But, you know, still. I wanted your gubbins. And you ran off. So, progress that's made so far. Tripwire. We know how to cut that. Which is good. Oh my god, I thought that was a spike trap then. Oh, I realised too late. Oh, thank God it wasn't. <laughs> oh. Still, not the end of the world. We would have just come back and got the body again. So, what characters have we had? So, we had the original character, which to be fair, I never actually paid attention to. I have no idea what type of character Firsty was. Um, Firsty could have been one of the skins we've already had. Um, I'll have to check back and have a look. It'd be interesting to find out. But we've had Womble, the wizard... We've had Yorick and Yorick 2.0. We've had Pumpkin and Pumpkin 2.0. Um, and we've had Grandpa Joe. So, at least four skins. Wizard, Viking. Um, Wizard, Viking, Pumpkin-headed guy. Old man. So, at least had four skins. I don't know what... Um, <laughs> God, four skins. No, just made there have been four different characters. Um, God's sake. <laughs> Spent my life just accidentally saying things. I mean, four skins is, is what there are, but this, this, I wasn't, I didn't mean as in, as in four skin. Oh. Right, let's run. Speaking of four skin, I haven't carved the penis in the grass for a while. I don't know if that was a good luck or bad luck charm. I'm going to do it. I mean, it's not my best work, but... It's getting worse. I'm just going to leave that. That is... I'm sorry for whoever owns that. That is... Um, it's, it's not its best. You might want to get that looked at. Alright, down we go. Right, I've got to try and do some quick maths here. So, two minutes to begin with, I think. Then another, what looks like maybe two minutes. Then another period of maybe two minutes. And then since about 22 to 30, so that's eight minutes. So probably around the 15 minute mark, probably just after. Um, I always watch back the videos and realize how bad my maths was. And I say stuff like, you know, oh, it's, it's nearly been 15 minutes and we're like it. 20 minute mark or something stupid. Right, let's actually start making some more progress from last episode. Um, let's go back down. Oh, 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 ah, oh, damn it. I forgot all the stuff is going to be fresh and new again. Down we 
we go. I'm excited. Oh, that, oh yes, uh, this will also worked out because now we've got new chests. See, dying was just a good thing. I don't, I don't want loads of fire arrows. Thank you, but no, thank you. Um, oh, what, what was that? That was something new. What is that? Is that a quiver? Where is it? Oh, it's a flare. Is that like the super torch? The torch plus? No, we've made a torch plus. Why is that? Right, I've kept playing. I don't need all these sticks. What do three sticks make? Oh, they make a bundle. Oh, so it's actually more cost effective to make. Ah, because it costs you three, but it makes it lets you make four um, arrows. Oh, okay. That is more cost effective. Save up a bit if you need arrows. Yeah. Huh. The more you know. This is where we need like that rainbow across. Like, the more you know. All right. Oh man, this is gonna confuse the shit out of me now, because we don't actually have the the one we entered from. Ah oh, well, first cave. Let's go. Oh, it's a shop. Oh, that's shadow for creeping me out then. Body armor, helmet, plaster, things. So, have we got enough to build by any of these? No, we need eighty. Well, right, it's good. Oh, I know that's more. Than Oh, is this a guy? That's actually really creepy. Like, really creepy. Hang on. Yeah, I don't like you. Okay, so we need loads more shards to get some body armor. But that's okay. That makes me think that the enemies we're going to be fighting are going to start getting a lot more powerful if there's body armor. So, that is the shop. Um, I guess we keep going this way. This ain't blue. Di oh, that's giving me item. That, that unlocks into an item. Let's go, 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 go. What do you have for me today? Oh! We got an item! And I can quit them both at the same time. So I now have some, hopefully, warm cl- What is this? Oh man, this is looking pretty cool. Oh, it's it needs me to shine a torch at it. Oh, it's a it's a thingy that I need. Interesting. Ah, okay, so we were just really lucky getting the shards in the right order. Okay, so this definitely has some stuff going on to it. Like, like, that screams boss battle. I'm assuming it screams boss battle to everyone else as well. Um, I'm going to eat... I don't think I want to eat mushrooms. I don't think they'll feed, fill me up. Do I want a stew? Yeah, let's do a stew. Because I've got loads of stuff. And that's me all to max again. Okay. So I guess we keep going this way then. Cool, we've got some warm clothing. Oh, it's quite tempting to go to that ice cave now. But let's keep following this and see what happens. What have you got? Some phosphor and the skull. And they keep trying to sell me on the old bombs. See, I don't know what bombs do. I mean, they might be really useful to get through like secret locations and stuff. Like, um, which I think is it Zelda. I've I've never played Zelda properly, but I feel like there were secret rooms that you needed bombs to get through in Zelda. Um, I mean, I, I could be wrong, but. Oh, it's a room key. Um, so I'm going to put that away. <laughs> right. Room key. Alright, so that's all you've got me. Interesting. So this is sort of like a hub world then. Because it, it hasn't had... Like, I was thinking maybe it was going to have all these entrances coming off different ways. But it looks like we've kind of exhausted them all, except for one. So one is where we entered. One goes to the surface. One goes to the shop. One went to the room key or the floor key. But we haven't actually found the thing that requires the floor key. Unless it was that big. Oh, that was a bit creepy. 
don't know if the video picked that up, but I walked past them, it's like that. <sighs> As I went by. Does this need a room key or something? Is this a puzzle? Do I need more things to get this to work? I don't know. Hmm. Do we want to go to the ice cave? That is uh, another potential question. Um, so this way will get us back to the drawbridge, which is a really long walk. Do I actually really want to do this walk? Yeah, I'm going to do this walk just on the off chance that that helps me track down. Like, can I blow up these rocks? I don't think I can. I'm just trying to think, you know, like, is that so I can get between areas quicker? That's the problem. The game has got zero hand-holding, and it would be nice if they maybe gave us a little bit more to work with. Oh, yep. Evil Skull Bridge. Love a good Evil Skull Bridge. I mean, who doesn't? Let's be honest. Okay. Oh, hang on. There you go. <laughs> that was a bit funky. Had me locked it between the... the end of the, that screen and the teleporter. Right, so. It's all in a complete random order, so that doesn't actually help because the exit level is on the right, but it's actually the first door you come across. So, that doesn't help. Oh, I don't know then. Maybe I do need to go to the... Maybe I can't get beyond this point unless I go to the ice cave. Now that I've got some warm clothing... We've got the shot, unless we need to wear the suit, maybe. Maybe that helmet gives me some special power. I mean, it looked more like armor myself to me, but I don't know. This thing, once again, this, this game has zero hand holding, zero guide on what to do. So it's kind of a case of let's just hope we know what we're doing. So the question is do I have long enough left in the video to make it worth going to the ice cave? Hmm. Have I tried enough of the stuff down here? See, I don't want to cheat and find out what to do again. I, I like trying to solve puzzles. The problem is, it's this type of puzzle where you could literally... See, that's not even creating a shadow. I thought maybe it was a shadow puzzle, but... You could literally spend forever just trying to solve this puzzle in one way and it's solved it completely different. Alright, as annoying as it is, seeing as we've dotted around the entire place, I think what I'll do is I'll go back into the cave that we started this episode in and the one that I died and all of that shenanigans and we will go to the ice cave because we've now got a jacket on. I mean, there's, like, that's the other thing. Oh, whoops. Let me just get to the top. Let's see, I think there's no... It's just called bone armor. It sounds like armor, but it, it, does it help me stay warm? I don't know. Is the game going to tell me? Probably not. I'm just a bit... Because it takes so long to get everywhere, like for me to now get from where I am to that ice cave... I mean, you'd think it'd be like something furry, like you need to wear some furry clothing or something. But not like a furry suit, that's a very different thing. Um, but because it just tells you nothing, you have no idea. All right, instead, what I'm going to do, because I don't think I've got enough to work, work warrant it, so that makes more sense for a next episode type thing, is we're going to see if we can do some exploring. We're going to see what the game will let us do. 
can, for example, I swing around here. Okay, so there is a limit. I can't go beyond a certain depth. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm alright with that as a rule. At least it's not better than... Then what I did worry about was you'd suddenly get too far and then drown. Man, he's been slow. I mean, the wave effects are quite nice. No, I can't see. Can I get back in the boat and go? Like, I've, I've already got some, you know, some stuff. Got, got a few bits of helmet and things. It's, it's quite nice. Alright, so that exploration kind of died pretty quickly. That campfire's gone because I spent it. There's nothing... That, uh, actually, would be really interesting just to try an explosive arrow. Because those things seemed really powerful. So, just for fun. Even though I don't think it's going to work. Because I'm pretty sure I need scissors or something. Let's, um... No, no. Let's try this. No. No, that's... That's pretty firm. So we've got a chest there. And something they've clearly got to strike with a sword. Or get some other weapon to do. And that will let me into there or back from there so there's something we come up to we think at a later stage that's like the next checkpoint so the stair wall was the stair wall the the door in the stairs that was um that was number one that was a checkpoint like the checkpoint number one we've had obviously the we've had a few checkpoints so i'm now going to checkpoint i guess technically checkpoint one the one that lets me um the little like, wooden drawbridge, not drawbridge, it's like a lift that goes up and down. So we've got that one up here, so that's that's checkpoint one. We've obviously got the initial cave entrance that you walk into. Um, we've now got the staircase doorway. And that one's probably the one after that, or, or, or not. We've also got over here, which I saw one of my reruns. Let's run, do, do, do. Yeah, there's been lots of back and forth on this one. So, I don't know how much progress we've actually made. But hey, we did do that button. So, we've got this here. It's got, like, some symbol on it. And once again, without... It looks like, um... It looks like a pillar. We also have this, like, weird circle over here. Once again, is this... Is it set dressing? Or is it... Something that I need to remember that this that's my biggest gripe with this game. I think is You need to pick sort of between Unforgiving difficulty in the sense of you know, you walk on a trap and your day's fucked or you need um, More forgiving difficulty But everything has to be tested and explored and the problem is they've just got both so you can't find out what something does until you test it, which kills you, um, or means that you have to backtrack forever. Like, literally so much of this episode has me been running from one place to another. Like that that um, weird totem, you know, that I shine my torch on, got the thing at the end in the big hub area. That thing, there may well be a puzzle <laughs> that I need to solve, that I could solve right now, and it would get me to the next area. But I've got no clue. I've got absolutely no idea. There's no indication. I might still need an unlock. Like, for example, the, the door that I needed to open with the, with the hammer, this game. That, I could have tried loads and loads of things without realising that I actually needed a hammer to solve that puzzle. Which is... It's just not... It's just not very good. It doesn't feel good for the player. Because they can spend loads of things thinking, oh, okay, so that symbol, maybe it needs this, it needs this. You try a light, you try explosive, you try all these different things, and it turns out you just didn't have the item you required. And I could be at that same point with this one. So I'm now backtracking. Oh, sorry, Blue Ball, I'm not interested in you today. I'm now backtracking all the way to um, that ice cave in the hopes that the clothing I'm... Oh, I need to, I need to get some water in me. 
in the hopes that the um, the body armor I've now got, or the light helmet, because I haven't actually tried it since I got the light helmet, will provide me warmth that I need to continue um, without like dying from cold. But even then, it might be a case of you just got to, you know, eat your way to safety or something. Oh, here's the water. Good, good. Um, I, I've got absolutely no idea. Maybe I've just got to run from campfire to campfire. There's literally no idea. But I could spend that whole thing, get really, really deep in, run out of torches or any other manner of things that could happen, die, and turn out that that wasn't actually the way to do it at all. And I think that's what I find really difficult. Because, I mean, obviously no one wants, like, I mean, it would be poor game design if, say, there was just, you know, you get in and your character just says, oh, it's a bit cold in here. I think I need my jacket. Like, they've given you all the context cues you need. They've given you the, oh, crap, this, oh, that's already activated that spectrum. Um, they give you the context cues, obviously. There's the symbol of it being cold. There's, um, you know, it's on your health. It's all those sort of things, which, which, um, I think I have enough to make this, um, which are good, um, and you need. B but I still have no idea. Um, I'm gonna keep going down. Um, I still have no idea whether um, I've got the stuff I need. I like. Maybe there could be sort of like carved into the wall, maybe just a symbol of a jacket or something, something woolly or something that would at least tell me that, um, God, why is it so dark? Um, sorry, I'm not, hopefully this isn't, you're able to follow me. I'm, I'm sort of <laughs> talking, uh, thinking as I talk. Um, there's like something carved into the wall that would at least help you understand that there's something else you need, like you haven't got enough stuff to do this. Because um, otherwise, as I said, like you can see how long it's taking me, just from talking to you now, you can see how long it's taking me to get back to that area that I need to be in. And I could do this entire journey, get there, still be cold, and, you know, not be able to get past the, the, the puzzle. When in reality, all I needed to do was, I don't know, five, find this one obscure cave, add this one obscure item that I required. Hi again, um, you know what, why not? You can rest in peace now. Um, uh, that was uh, Grandpa Joe, wasn't it? I'm trying to think of his name. Lest he not be forgotten. Forgotten? Forgotten. Um, now hopefully you guys see what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's, it's just... I mean, going back right now, right now, this is not fun gameplay. It's not fun for me. I don't know if it's fun for you guys. That's why I'm trying to talk about things, make it a bit more interesting to actually have something to talk about, have my opinions discussed. But this isn't this isn't fun. I'm not enjoying having to backtrack. Now, obviously, this is a bit harder than it should be because I died, so this whole area has been reset. That's, you know, that's kind of... That, that, I'm okay with that. I don't mind... Um... Should I have another stew? I've got enough food, I think. Um, let's eat. Let's just eat some food. Man, they do—they give you as much as a morsel does. That's really bad. Um, like, so it's a bit worse than it would be. Otherwise, I could. Uh, there wouldn't be any enemies. There wouldn't all the traps would have been activated, so I'd be able to run perfectly fine from beginning to end, and that would be okay. Um, it still would suck. It still take. You know, it'd still take a while, but it would be better, obviously. Um, oh, not this guy again. All right, we'll, we'll do it. What is it? Let's, let's just shoot him with this bad boy. Oh, crap. Hang on. Nope. Get rid of his lieutenant. I'm not messing around with you anymore. I had enough of your crap. You've killed me twice now in this time. Oh, no, you nearly killed me once, and then you did kill me once. And then you've nearly killed me again. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fucking about anymore. They're not worth it. Just explode the arrow. I've got shit tons of the stuff. Oh! Oh! Oh, that came up with a defensive thing. Is that my body armor? 
Does my body armor stop me from taking damage on the initial hit now? Interesting. Maybe I get two hits per re like level or two hits per certain amount of time and that comes back. I don't know. Interesting. Hey, wait, what's this? Oh, it's a cave. This will have something new in it because obviously I've reset. That's the other thing. Like, It's a weird thing that dying can actually have some benefit. I find that a bit weird. Um, I don't, I don't need bandage. It's not a bad thing. I'm not complaining. Just think it's a bit weird that um, if you haven't got enough stuff, you can just kill yourself somewhere. Oh shit! Um, you can kill yourself somewhere nice and easy to get back to. Come back and all the shards are ready. Like I'm trying to think, where's the earliest I could kill myself? I could probably kill myself. Just stand, let the shard creatures kill me right at the opening. Come back, go into the cave, pick up all my shit. Um, and then activate all things. It just depends on, obviously we did lose the crystal. So did we lose the crystal? Because the crystal is a special trait. Like, if we die, the crystal got broken, maybe? Or do, is it just because it... Freaking out. Is it because... Um, is it because... Um, sorry, my brain's gone. Um... My brain is actually completely gone. I was actually full silent for a... You probably thought I was dead for a second there. Um, I've got lost train of thought completely what I was saying. Sorry, I nearly I nearly died. And I... Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I've got no idea what I was saying. That's insane. I've completely lost it. What is this? Oh, it's the mushrooms. That's glowing like blue. What's glowing here? Nothing. Oh, hang on. Let me just pause the game and listen back to what I said just then. Hang on one second. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. So I was talking about the crystal. So I was saying, did we did the crystal lose because it's got a special trait? Oh, let's take these guys out. Or is it just because it randomly selects items from our inventory that? Oh, I'm going to more explosive arrows. This would be. That's a shame because this would, actually. Can I get him to kill that? Get on that trap. Or is it because it selects random stuff from our inventory and it happened to select... Come on, let's get him on the trap. Get him on the trap. Yes! That was so satisfying. Um, or is it because it just selects random things out of our inventory when we die to destroy? And are we just lucky that we didn't lose the hammer? Or does the hammer have a trait that says that can't be destroyed? You see, there's so many questions because we just don't know how things work. This looks like a button. I'm, I'm going to press this. I've, I've got... I've got the hammer. I'm just going to try. No. I think that's actually where the door key was. Or the floor key was. Actually, thinking about it. Um, yeah. God, I completely lost the train of thought there, guys. I'm really sorry about that. Anyway. I think this episode is really, 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 really long. Like, really long. Like, 40 minutes long. So... Um, yeah, I hope you've, you've enjoyed this. We're now um, back here. Um, what? Why do they they float around here? Like, there's an item here. Oh crap! All right, well, I'm here now, so I guess we'll save. Um, yeah. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Sorry, it's been a bit more rambly than than normal. Well, <laughs> I don't know really. I I do tend to ramble regardless. Um, but yeah, so next episode we will go into the ice cave. Hopefully we're all good. Either the, the bone armor or the, um, either the bone armor or the light helmet will help us. Or it might just be a case of we've got to run from, um, item to item, uh, to get by. Um, I'm going to steal torches with me. Hopefully the heat from those might help. Um, but yes, um, I'll sort out my inventory and I'll be all ready to go for next episode. But I think this has gone long enough, so I won't bore you with that. So thank you very much for watching and I'll uh, see you next time. Shook and screw out.